Biodiversity is one of the biggest topics in our sustainability strategy. We thought it would be great for residents to better understand what biodiversity actually means. So we've put together this podcast to give you a bit more information about biodiversity in general and what the council does that actually has an impact on biodiversity. Welcome to the Tombridge Wells Borough Council What We Do podcast, Biodiversity Special. Who are you and what's your job title? I'm Jess Berry. I am the Graduate Climate Change Officer and I work in the sustainability team for TWBC. My name is David Scully. I'm the Borough's Landscape and Biodiversity Officer and I'm responsible for advising members and the public on landscape and biodiversity matters. What actually is biodiversity? Biodiversity is about all living things and and how they interconnect and how we interconnect with them as well. So it's literally everything from the tiny little microbes in the soil to the, the, the biggest trees and open landscapes. It's crucial for ecosystem stability, it's crucial for resilience and provision of ecosystem services in itself. Biodiversity supports food security, human health, economic activities, and helps ensure the sustainability of our natural environment. How do industrial bodies and businesses impact biodiversity? They impact biodiversity through activities such as industrial expansion, uh, agricultural changes, urban development. They can lead to things like habitat destruction and fragmentation, air and noise pollution, cross-contamination from runoff, and most importantly, climate change. How does the council have an impact on biodiversity? We impact it like any landowner with the land we own and we own a lot of green spaces. We own parks and local nature reserves where we promote and try and care for biodiversity as well as allowing access. But also we control various activities like development. So through development we ensure we have strong policies for biodiversity and we make sure developers take account of biodiversity in their uh, new developments, particularly now we're looking at a thing called biodiversity net gain. So developers must leave things better than they find them in terms of biodiversity. What is your role? Helping the council deal with development issues uh, is helping council deal with its land ownership issues in relation to biodiversity and landscape and making sure the council's sort of partnerships as well work towards biodiversity. So we have things like the Kent High World uh, Management Partnership which engage with our residents and our schools, um, they do forest schools, they look after our local nature reserves. So making sure that those works go on and, and we're all aware of what they do and and it connects with the other work the council is responsible for. What can individuals do to better foster biodiversity? You can do things like reduce pesticide use, you can adopt sustainable practices in your daily life, buy sustainable products. More community-wise, you can join community initiatives or join in with conservation efforts. Things like creating wildlife-friendly spaces, so this could be planting native species in your garden, composting, community orchards, things like that. Well, everyone can make a difference. So even with the smallest plot, you can have things that benefit insects and birds and, and, and protect you know, our water resources and, and so on. But you can get out, uh, you can, say, volunteer. We have a completely open volunteer programme. There's no requirement, there's no training needed. You don't have to commit to any amount of time. You can come any time you want. So if you want to find out about that, go to the Kent High World Partnership website. Do what you can with your garden um, bird boxes, bat boxes, plants that are nectar friendly uh, for bees, um, uh, yeah, and, and help that way.